want a necklace on this one? <laughs> I don't know. I think so, because it's kind of plain. We'll just put it out. I wear my necklace all the time, but I don't really see it because it's down here and you don't see that. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um, okay, we'll start. Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today's video, I don't even know where it's going to go because I um, got up this morning and I checked the temperature. Today is supposed to be January. I'm not happy with January's weather in my area. It's, um, it started out about 38 degrees, I think mm -hmm. it was. Yeah. And in an hour, it dropped a, a degree, and then another hour, it dropped another degree, and it's been dropping all day. I don't know what it is now. I have to look again. But um, I had questions about how often you're supposed to check. Well, you know, you're supposed to check. Jim's going to check the temperature. What's the temperature? 36. It's 36. So it hasn't got, it's still still above freezing which is good because it has been a really wet mushy gushy kind of day um i was talking about um checking okay i checked the what you're supposed to do is every 15 minutes you should be trying to write down what the weather is and the reason the 15 minute thing is is there's 31 days to a to a month or 30 days and it just makes it easier to calculate which where that day will fall. Oh, I'm feeling warm. I'm feeling my face getting red. Am I getting red? Oh, I get a little okay. nervous. I get a little nervous when I'm talking on this thing because I know what I'm talking about, but I get nervous because I'm afraid. Because you know what it is? You're not here to ask questions, so it makes it feel like I might miss something. Well, it just makes it easier. And we'll go back to the 31 days. It just makes it easier to decide where you're going to place that um, little weather report on what day. When my brother was doing his haying, he used to ask me what was the month of uh, July. I think it was July and August. They used to like to do their haying. And he wanted to know if we were going to have any rain or not. And how if there was a stretch where he could do, like cutting the hay, let the hay dry, you know, lay there for a day or two and then bale it so that then they could put it in the barn. And I could tell him by my weather report that there was going to be a certain whatever section was going to be dry and he could cut. And so one year he got three, three different cuttings in, which is unusual because they usually only get about two. And my husband, when he worked in the grapes, the, his boss used to ask what the fall was going to be like because he always wanted to schedule his grapes when it was going to be a nice warm section. So he used to he used to plan his um, picking of his grapes were planned around my calendar. A few girls at work planned their um, weddings around my calendar. And the funny part is because I was doing it every 15 minutes, I was really diligent. I'm not so diligent now. Now I'm kind of slacking, but um, I used to ask them, well, what time of the day are you going to get married? Because they would choose a weekend that I had rain for part of the day, and then it was supposed to be sunshine. And so if it was a two o'clock wedding, I said, oh, you'll be fine. It'll be sunshine by the time you get married. It won't be raining when you get married. And um, chances are they had a good day. I used to plan my vacations around it when I worked at the county home also. That's when I used to do it really perfect. I used to Before me. Yeah, before you, before Jim came along. But although the year that you were in the grapes, I did pretty good because yeah. you, you were out in the weather and you could um, check the, and you used to write it down for me so that if it started to snow a little bit or sprinkle a little bit, you would notice it because you were right in it. Whereas when you're in the house or at work, you look out the window and you go, is it raining or is it, what's it doing out there? Because it might look like it's doing something and then you try to find something that will give you an indication or you have to go outside and check it. And um, 
what else did I do? Oh, there was a there was a time that there was this terrible, terrible. It was the 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 storm of 1977, the mm -hmm. blizzard. They called it the blizzard of 77. A few days before that blizzard, I had written. And now this, um, I had written on the calendar a blizzard, and the few days before that, it was like. 50 degree temperature, sunny, lovely weather. We were having good weather. And I remember the girls at work were kind of mocking me about this blizzard coming up. And I says, well, and I took the calendar down because, you know, after a while, you don't want weather reports. Sometimes people are nice and sometimes people are not nice. So I decided, well, I'll take it down and save myself from being picked on about the weather because I did have it on there. And I had it was going to be a blizzard. Well, the funny part is we were stuck at work, those of us that were at work, and those that weren't at work couldn't get into work because there was it was a blizzard. And the, the temperature went from the 40s to so bad that you couldn't even see. There was so much snow. They used to use these great big huge um, machines that blew the snow up over. Snowblowers. Snowblowers, they were, but they yeah. were huge on the highway because they could only plow it just so high and then they had to blow the snow up over. That's how much snow we used to get. We don't get that snow anymore. Thank goodness we don't. But um, so I took my calendar down and I didn't do it. And then I used to just share it with my best of friends because they didn't mock me for my crazies of the weather. And um, somebody commented, I don't remember who it was that commented that said that the weatherman is the only one that can be right or wrong and still get has, still have a job. It's true. They can do, they can tell you it's going to rain and you have sunshine all day and it's okay. But have heaven help if they tell you it's going to be sunshine and you get rain, you're not very happy with the, with the weatherman then. But that's, and so like with mine, you want to give me my folder? Uh, now like I, I haven't been, yeah, I'll go back on the weather a little bit. I was doing it, but I started out this morning. I didn't get up until like around 8 o'clock. And so what I did is I wrote 8 a.m. and I wrote what it was doing. I wrote the temperature was 38 degrees and it was a rain drizzle and the barometer was 29.5 and there was a light wind. And then around 11.30 I wrote it down again. Now see, I'm not doing it like every 15 minutes because I'm kind of lazy. And I wrote it that it was spitting wet snow rain. Now it's changed. It was not just rain, it's snow rain. And then the temperature had dropped to 36.4. The barometer had dropped to 29.46. And the wind was a medium to light and it was snow. And then at one o'clock it was actually snowing. So we've got snow now. And if it freezes, we're going to have a real mess because there's a lot of wet underneath the snow. Now in your area, if you have 40 degrees and it's December for January, then your temperatures, for us, 40 degrees would be a very warm because we, we um, typically don't have that temperature. We usually are in the 30s or lower, uh, way lower in, in January. But if we have a 40 degree temperature, then we know we're going to have a good good um January now if we get 40 45 in December and it's the month of June or July we know we're going to have a hot summer because it will be if it's if it's warm in December it's going to be really warm in those months and that's how you kind of you have to kind of guess you're guessing but you're you're kind of get an idea one year it was so bad in December so bad the temperatures were like 12 degrees and it was the month of June and July was like 11. It was like really bad temperatures. I just stopped. I figured I don't even need to know what the summer is going to be because it's going to be terrible and I didn't want to know. So I actually stopped and I didn't finish that year out. But it does give you an idea of whether it's going to be good or bad. I know this is all over the place and I know it's back and forth and up and down and in zigzag. But just give it a try if you like. If not, mm, it's okay. You've not lost anything. Just listen to the weatherman and he'll tell you what the weather's going to be. And yeah, there used to be a song, a jingle. What's the weather going to be? 
in our fair city. But we don't live in a city. Um, but the, the radio station that used to sing that was a city. But we're not a city. We're just a little village, a uh, small town, whatever we call it. it, it we live in a town, but we go to the village. <laughs> I guess we're the village people. So that's it for today. I will tell, I had nothing to say. Can you tell? <laughs> I really had nothing to say. No, really? Really. I didn't. I had nothing. But I will talk to you again tomorrow. So I hope you have a great night or a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.